Okay, well it's very early on a Sunday morning. We've grabbed our McDonald's breakfast and we are off to Petrohedonism live at Nebworth House. Before the video starts today, I'd just like to explain. We had an equipment failure yesterday, which means we lost a lot of our audio files. So I'm gonna make the video the best I can. I know I spoke to so many of you and I wanted to get it on a video and I can't, so I do apologize. I'd also like to take this moment to thank our video sponsor for today, which is Dragon Car Audio and Security. They can help you with all of your audio and security needs. Their telephone number's just here. Well, thanks for supporting us and let's get to the video. As you know, we are at Petrol Hedonism live today. There's Paul's R8 and Matt's IS350, and obviously the Mad 350. Well, this is Dip Monkey stand. It's gonna be absolutely mental, this stand. I've seen the guest list. And actually, we know this 370 convertible, an absolutely gorgeous car. Suki's two to S2000 coming in now. Sweet. And the Fast and Furious Evo, from Too Fast and Furious. And at the back here, we have the 350 of the PK's Drift. Tokyo Drift. Oh, Jesse's just got back from the car wash. Some of these cars here are absolutely just insane. I mean, check out this GTR. Beautiful, beautiful car. Some lovely cars over here. Oh, here's the Charger that we saw at British Motor Museum as well, with that great big uh, fake blower up on the top, which looks quite pretty cool, to be honest. Okay, we've got this sleeker that's um, got this camo wrap, which is one of the YouTubers actually, that's on the main stage. Check out this Mini, I've seen it a few times. Can you imagine how mad this thing is being used to drive? Look at it. We saw this Volvo while we were driving along. Absolutely beautiful car. How did Volvo go so wrong? A lovely GT350. Taxi, anyone? Taxi? Oh, okay, so these are movie cars. I can't tell you what movies they're from. Some of them I will be able to. This is the GT40 that we saw coming along uh, that was, we passed on the motorway. What an absolutely gorgeous machine. It is lovely. Look at it. Oh Jesus, the cabin, you're proper in there when you're in there, aren't you? It is lovely, look at it. Check out the trumpets in the back window. Oh, what a car. That deserves a picture. I don't take many pictures, you know, but you know something? I'm gonna take a few pictures of this car because it's just absolutely gorgeous, I love it. Right, okay, what else are we gonna see? Oh, here is Kit from Knight Rider. You see a few of these at shows. Oh, and the, um, the Mustang beside it, I think that's, um, oh, Transformers Barricade, I think it's called. We saw again one of these, I think it was a, oh, oh, Sham Lord Loxley. Let's go and say hello to the big man himself. This is one of Kevin Nick's insane builds. A motorized BMX. He did tell us the top speed of it, but unfortunately, like I say, we lost the audio. But what an absolutely mental thing to have and build. Okay, back over to these movie cars. And obviously, as I said, that's the barricade from the Transformers film. Now, I can't quite work this out. Is this the car that they used in like Fast 8 or something with the submarine with like the suspension that's supposed to hop right up? Is this the car from that? The one that Letty drove? I mean, 6.2 litre, I think that was. It's a beast, I'll give it that. It's wicked, massive. And um, from The Prisoner, also Matt tells me, I don't actually remember that, but apparently it's from the TV series The Prisoner. And obviously, Eleanor. Everybody knows Eleanor. The GT500. Now, if you know the names of the films that these cars are from, please do leave it in the description because I actually don't have a clue. Look at the blower on this big Camaro. It's nuts. Street legal. How is this street legal? 900 horsepower. How can it actually be 
street legal. You've done two S15s. Um, you were glutton for punishment, perhaps, with all your vehicles. <laughs> yeah. But this has been an absolute trooper. Yesterday, it actually shot some flames unexpectedly on our behalf, I will say that. But tell us, for anyone who hasn't seen yesterday, tell us a little about yourself and about the car. Um, so this is a 2.8. It's got a rated manifold. It's all set up to be driven. Uh, it's got that point burst, welded diff, just going to generate a lot of smoke. Okay, are you guys ready for this? So the micro was just a little tease, a little warm up. This sounds absolutely epic and will annihilate tyres. So, is everyone prepared? Are we all ready? We've got fire extinguishers? Yeah, this is another good. person with We've no fire extinguishers. Yeah. yeah. Barry does, does okay. a good scent. Where's Stu Hoy? Is he around still? He's over there. He's over there. Okay, fine. All right. Are you guys ready? Oh, I said, are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, send it. Yeah. Yeah. yesterday or something like 280 horsepower or something so he's only doubled it yeah just for risk yeah you know okay should we get this one going yeah. all yes. right in three two one send it <laughs> It's actually torched the uh, the floor. It's a screamer pipe. Yeah, yeah. so I was getting that as well. There we go. Anything to declare, sir? <laughs> and what's more, you're really far? And we're off the air. Uh, <laughs> no. What was that? Yeah. channel find our socials because we've done a full review on this and it's it's a work of art it's moved my insides around <laughs> not that, i thought that was me last yeah, night oh, really don't it's too do you want to really uh, really just ask chris about the car because i think everyone would like to know a bit more about it so not only is the car a character you sir 
are an extreme character. Uh, right, tell us a little bit about this. We know a lot about it, but the crowd may not. Give us a little bit of an insight. So it's, a, it's obviously a record that's not a real car. It's built by Avery in Peterborough. Uh, it's got an air spray engine straight out of the Corvette, but tuned to about 565, 80 horsepower. But you've been everywhere. Now this guy goes to Le Mans and does burnouts and gets told off by the police. He go, actually, you get told off by the police everywhere, to be fair. And he's still driving. I don't know how he gets away with that. I love it. I'm absolutely, the thing is, there's, there's something to have a nice car, but there's something to, also to have a nice car and, and really use it. Kick it in the head. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to make some noise then? Yeah, I've got to drive this back today, so I'll do this sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. He says that now. He but says that all the time. Mate. The red yeah, list yeah, yeah, down. Red right, yeah. let's get us started. This is the loudest thing in really I'm, I'm going to... Who you are and and what you do and you don't know you do a lot of charity work as well so yeah let's talk a little bit about that before we get on to what we're going to reveal there's loads of, a lot of people know me as sham lord Lottie. Uh, basically uh, started uh, our car group which is called auto anonymous we we're three four years ago and only because of covid and it was to literally get people back out socializing and the whole idea of the motto for auto anonymous is we don't care what you ride what you drive everybody's welcome you share the passion come out socialize talk to people and trust me it's gone a long way touchwood in uh, well we started off with four cars and 30 members and now we are at i think it's just over eight and a half thousand so i think that says a bit um we do a lot of charity work all all up and down the country and it's not for any particular charity it's for any charity people can ring us up and say that we need some help and you come down and that's exactly what we do and charities individuals in need we're there always say look us up auto anonymous you know if anybody needs some help trust me we will do whatever we can to help with the likes of ralph ozier he's always backing me he's my guru that's for sure he's always got my back that's it <laughs> and uh, guys i'm also known for the finger of approval uh, you may know me, may not know me, but yes, so I'll give a finger of approval. I was about to say last year, you, you gave her in the finger, but that's only better in my head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> go back to it, it was yes. because of the escort burnout and you were like, respect, so you gave him the finger. That's right. Uh, so and it's the index finger before we get anyone complaining. Please, yeah. yes, that's right. You'll see the, the, the proper version in a moment in the format of a trophy, which we're going to be awarding after. And Ralph is going to have the play. Yeah. Excellent. So let's chat to Ralph now. We're going to hand him a microphone. So we spoke yesterday about motor skills, and we had the lovely Nisha Westby up, who's done some work with you guys. Um, tell us a little bit about the organisation. Tell us a bit about your company um, and what you try to um, help and support in the car world. I think that's really important. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the car world at the moment. One of the things we've noticed: um, my engineering company, which is imaginatively entitled Ralph Hosier Engineering. Um, we build special vehicles, custom cars, all that sort of thing. And we've noticed a, a difficult thing recruiting people. 
getting the right skills to come into the com company. And if there is a real skills gap, if there aren't people to make all of these wonderful vehicles and to keep them going, then all of these wonderful vehicles are going to disappear. The keen eyed amongst you may be putting together what this chap's wearing. Yeah, is that, would that be connected somewhere with the vehicle? Yeah, it might be a clue, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Does anyone know what this vehicle is? Does anyone have a guess? A few nods. Huh? An ex Royal Mail van, interesting. Possibly. Possibly. Let's have a look. Let's whip the cover off. Let's have a look. Okay, okay. three, two, one. Go. Oh, it's coming off. Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's the Royal Mail van as well. Look at that. He obviously knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Wheels as well, well, man. That is weird. I assume it's, is it paint? Sorry. Or is it wrap? It is wrap. Okay, wow. Let's go our way down to this vehicle then. So, who's going to reveal this one? Uh, I've got the wife involved today. I'm, really like, I'm keen to know what there's in under this because you said this is a one. Potentially a one of one car. Is that is that it correct? It is one of one. Okay, so again, this is a bit of a revving. Yeah. Can we can we talk a little bit before we reveal it? Yes, I'm just finding somebody else. Oh, to to. <laughs> can we get Matt? Could you help that corner unveil? Yeah. Yeah. Not just yet, but on that corner. So yeah, sorry. Tell us a little bit about this vehicle without giving too much away. So you, it's a one of one. That's right. I'm touching it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's pretty quite rare. Um, is it a English car? Um, yes and no. And it's not. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and it, what, was, what? Um, it was an English company, um, and they were approached by somebody, the ace company, for the American market. Okay. And it's what year is it? 78. 1978. Same year you were born. No, I knew that was coming. <laughs> With friends right. like that. We've teased it up. I really want to know what yeah, yeah, it's under here. I don't know what's under here. I knew a little bit of that one. The, Everybody will get to know exactly what it is, they'll spot it on the features, but then you'll see the odd features, you'll know definitely for the American. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so it was something initially sold in the UK, yes, then sorry. they modified it to fit the Americans. Correct. If you think about Lotus Fortina, yep. it's a combination of being off the Yes, yeah, yeah. So, similar to Okay, oh, we've teased enough, I think we've teased enough. <laughs> right, yeah, right. In three, two, one, let's reveal it. Oh, look at that colour. Oh, wow. Round of applause, guys. Look at this vehicle. That is, that stunning. is stunning. So it's not a British car. I mean, everyone's seen Ford Fiestas, haven't they? We've all seen what a Ford Fiesta looks like. Um, do you want to tell us a couple of bits about how different this is from what would have been sold in the UK to, to what... Oh, it needs to be cut. So okay, we'll get Lynn did that when we're just chatting in the meantime. Yes. How um, different is this to what would have been sold in the UK then? It was the actual very first hat to be produced. Really? Yes. Wow. And obviously Ford's, uh, they had their Fiesta, the small ranges as in 1100, 1100s. This actually came out uh, as the first 1600 produced. Jeez, wow. As you can see, the features such as the big bumpers. Yeah, yeah. Typical Americans. Yeah, so got its own roll cage in there as well. And that's fine. And the roll cage is standard. Yes, it was Jeez. actually made as it is. And the thing was, uh, like I said, it was uh, made for the American market. The problem was, got there. So it was, uh, before I finish, hold on. You look at the badge? Mm. Yeah, I was looking at that, yeah. Healy. Yes, right. So it's a collaboration. Ford Fiesta by Healy. Wow, <laughs> interesting. I mean, the um, the arch is on it and the chin spot is very Mark 1 Golf, isn't it? As it well? is, it is. Yeah, but it's all built in as well. It's not something that's been added on. It's no, all no, part no, of the front. This is exactly how it was obviously made for the market. The issue was once it reached America, the problem was emissions. Uh, I wouldn't pass it. It was around that time, was it? With That's the fuel right. prices and right. stuff, yeah. So it got uh, literally shelved away. And right. from what my understanding is, it eventually got sold and her mind ended up buying it. Here and restored it to this condition? Uh, semi restored. Oh, okay. Well, it's, it's like but the majority of it is actually all of it. It hasn't been used much, presumably. No, no. And I don't know how much you can see from over there, but the pinstriping is stunning. It's stunning. And obviously left-hand drive, because yes. it's, you know, dictated to the, uh, to the American market. And you said the roll cage was standard. So what would this have been provided as a motorsport type I, car? Or? I don't know, I'll be honest with you, because obviously... Uh, Let's go!
Time to grind, get inside your mind Yeah, we working overtime, that's the only way to climb We gon' make it in our prime, signing on the dotted line Cashing checks left and right, that's the way I'm living life uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight Chip away, I gotta fight, ain't nobody else in sight Man, I think I see the light, yeah, that shit is so bright Follow me, I got the God, see you on the other side, son I'm a vet, cause I work with every breath Man, I love the taste of sweat I won't have any regrets uh, They get upset when they trying just to rest And I'm still right at my desk Make them all feel so pressed Yeah, but that's the test If you wanna be the best It ain't easy, it's a mess If you wanna yeah, have success easy. You keep going yeah. like possessed Drive it deep into your chest I like the way the wheels are done. I love everything about this car. Oh. Go on, do it again. So that's sequential. Go on, make some more noise. <laughs>